Hi friends, welcome on Europedia and as you know, Europedia is a platform which mentors students to join higher educational opportunities in top global institutes for MS programs, for PhD program and for direct PhD program. I told all of you that uh, direct PhD or PhD programs are very good because you get a lot of scholarship there and you need not to spend uh, money from your pocket, in fact you earn money. So, uh, you can go after your masters, you can go after even graduation if your credentials are good to these courses. But when you apply to these courses for PhD, direct PhD and even MS, uh, you need to uh, you know get in touch with the professors and you need to impress them with your you know, research inclination. You need to do that. And if you are successful in doing that, professors give you op opportunities. Uh, hundreds of students from Europedia every year are joining these prestigious universities and these prestigious courses and they give us a lot of information uh, and tell us that their professors are looking for the students who are capable and who have good credentials. We as mentors as teachers uh, pass on that information to you so that you explore the opportunities. So today my video is related to biotechnology. Uh, there are certain domains, no doubt there are options in engineering, in humanities also. But I found that maximum opportunities are for science graduates, chemistry, physics, biotechnology, bioscience and all. Maximum higher educational opportunities are for these students with lot of funding. So uh, the probability of uh, you know getting positive response from the professors if you male 50 professor then 5 6 will give you positive response that is very high in these domains i am showing you some of the research areas if you are in btech or if you are in mtech if you are in mtech your research area is more or less fixed that is your masters uh, area only but if you are in btech if you are in graduation undergrad if you are and if you are planning to go for ms program or for direct phd program then these are the research areas, these are the universities, these are the professors which are looking for Indian students. Why I am saying looking for Indian students? Maybe because they have good experience with Indian students, their own students are uh, you know Indian and uh, they are doing marvelous work and now they want more students for their research work. So this side I am showing you the uh, name of research domain and then name of the university, then country, then professor you can catch but let me tell you friends when you drop a mail to them it should be very meticulously designed where mentors of your PDA can help you so the mail content should be very nicely made so what you have to tell the professor how you have to approach those professors on LinkedIn what you have to tell them those things should be very nicely done so a uh, biomedical data science bioinformatics for human health and disease that is a research area I mean many of you say sir we don't know the research area so uh, this is uh, actually the research domain which we are telling you now. So if you are from biotechnology, why don't you use biomedical data science and bioinformatics for studying human health and disease. So if you say I want to work in bioinformatics and data science, so yes you can work in bioinformatics and biomedical data science. Uh, role of uh, these domains in human health and disease cancer mutants cancer progression and all these are the research areas in which some professors in some universities in some country are working and these details we normally get from reference i mean the professors who are ready to take you if your credentials are good similarly neurobiology of aging cell biology molecular para cytology development develop plant based ferment food guided by genomics so genomics is a research domain right so cellular immunology that is one uh, research modeling and quantitative ecology disease development biology microbial energy conversion uh, health and biomedical sciences plant developmental biology so computational biology and comparative genomics uh, structural virology and immunology microbial communities interactions molecular cell biology and this side you will find the universities i mean us germany netherlands normally uh, your pedia recommends you for ms you know, us kind of countries and european kind of countries for phd we recommend you uh, us kind of countries where scholarships also you can get it so but yes when i'm saying these uh, research areas they are both for ms and phd programs you can get these 
and uh, similarly you know uh, we have this uh, research areas so you go through these research areas and i'm very sure you will get an idea in which area you want to pursue which area you want to work so this are all the research area so uh, i think i'll make it little uh, yeah i'll show you all these research areas so so that you should have an idea what are various research area for biotechnology if you are from that background friends these are the research areas current research areas which you can you know think of pursuing so suppose your inter interest is in uh, health and biomedical further in this then you can approach the mentors of your pedia they will guide you in that molecular cell biology and all computational biology also you are getting very good scholarships aapko bas ye dekhna hai ki aapka research interest kya hai which is your research interest out of all this the moment you tell okay this is my research interest let us say you say sir i want to go in biomedical data science and bioinformatics then the mentors of your pda will connect you further to those professors who are working in this field and those who are sitting with the funding professors who are working in this area sitting with the funding then mentors of your pda will tell you this is how you have to approach them this is how you have to drop a mail to them this is how you have to prepare for the interview so all these things will be done but yes there are a lot of opportunities friends smart students are getting lot of funding lot of uh, opportunities and other students are just thinking whether to go putting lot of restrictions on them don't do that just take the first step find out your research interest you should only answer two three things number one are you interested to go abroad yes you want to join very good universities yes uh, do you know what is your research interest yes this is the domain i want to go for that's it the rest everything else your pda mentors will actually help you getting the funding and all your documents and everything they will mentor you and you can reach these places these courses so let's start pushing it friends and let's start converting it all the very best thank you Thank you.